a brand new Monster Hunter Wilds trailer has finally dropped. We've got new monsters, new characters, new features to look at and talk about. So let's jump into it. This is going to be a bit of an off-the-cuff one, guys. Sorry if I'm a little bit rambly, but uh, I'll be pausing and, and just uh, taking in all of the excellent footage that we got, even though it's only like three minutes long. All right, we're here to talk about a trailer, so let's get into it. Sand ships. Good to see. Oh, hey. Hey, as soon as we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. All right, so we've got a lot to look at just there. Uh, a lot of information very quickly. Uh, first things first, sand ships are back, which is a good sign, I think, because there's a good chance that we get uh, our big, beautiful boy, Jen Moran, or, or something very similar back. Uh, with a big old sand ship fight. Um, but we get a, our first look at the brand new characters. We've got our new handler. We've got the new Smithy, who everybody is thirsting over on, on Twitter and online. Um, and we get a little kid who I've, I've paused just before. But by the looks of it, the little kid's a big story character. We get a little bit of a flashback. Um, good to see a little story being shown, I suppose. Monster Hunter World story was... Uh, it was it was a it was there. Uh, Monster Hunter stories in general have sort of just been there, so it'd be cool if they actually pull off a convincing um, story this time around. Uh, the new handler Alma, I think her name is. Uh, I really like her. I think her design is is nice. She's cute. Uh, not much else to say, I suppose. I he heard some people talking about her weird um, outfit because uh, it feels too modern, but. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I, I think it's fine. I think it's perfectly in line with Monster Hunter. Um, and then, of course, uh, the hot, new hot character, you know, token hot character. We've got Gemma, I think was her name. Um, everybody's going nuts over Gemma. Uh, she's got, a and again, an interesting outfit. It looks like she's wearing the vest from the Caravaneer um, from Monster Hunter 4. Uh, for you and for I think, uh, and yeah, that that would be cool if we've got some throwbacks there. Uh, I don't know if she is Little Miss Forge, but that would be very very cool. Uh, the implication that there's some caravan thing going on that you'll be moving around, maybe not have a set uh, village or something like that. That's got me pretty excited. I think that that would be a fun way to uh keep all the characters feeling interesting. It certainly worked really well in Monster Hunter for you, so. More of that? Uh, I'm down. I'm down. Let's jump back in. This is gonna be great. You bet. I forgot to say the the Palico talks now, and so does the Hunter. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously, Palicos have always been able to speak. They talk to you in game, in text. So I guess they've always been able to speak English, but I've never never wanted to hear it. Uh, certainly, sounds a lot uh, cuter in Japanese. Uh, and then the Hunter talks. I didn't like how the Hunter would say one-line quips in Rise, so it would be. But it would be good if they've got like you know proper dialogue and not just like shit talking a monster endlessly. Uh, that would be cool. I'm I'm down for that. I hope we find them soon. Story stuff. We get a glimpse of a character that we'll see in just a moment. <gasps> Stuff. The monster we'll talk about in a sec. Incredible. So I first sort of look. Oh, hold on. I'll I've longer. never heard of a Karaknoth herd this big before. So we get a good look at the new map, right? So this is our new. Uh, look, to, looks to be the introductory map. Uh, they've gone for a desert this time around. Usually they go for a forest, or Gen Two went for a tundra. Um, but it's it looks like desert is going to be our first map that we see. Um, sort of like equivalent to the ancient forest. Uh, it's called the Windward Plains, is what it says on the website, which is, you know, it's a name. It's a fantasy name. That's, that's fine. Um, but we do get our first name drop for one of the monsters we saw in the first teaser trailer, which are you big pangolin armadillo guys. Karatanoth, you know, Aptanoth ending suffix um, and keratin. It's, it's a nice name. You know, it's pretty on brand and pretty standard. Um, sort of sounds a little bit like a Pokemon name, but that's, that's fine by me. Uh, as well as a look at our mounts, which I believe are called Secrets, 
which is a bizarre name. Um, I was expecting some play on words like uh, Palamute, but we didn't get that. Um, apparently, it's to do with like secretary birds. That's where the name is deri uh, derived from. So, you know, again, these look sick. They look sick in the first one, uh, in the first trailer. They look sick now. One of them's got big spikes on its back. More Palico talking. So we get a look at this sort of uh, very back and forth weather, which has been said to be what's going to be the main drive in, in these environments. Um, so the new maps, I believe from what the, uh, the website says, are going to have their own uh, sort of switching between very drastic weather events that make it uh, the big monsters more aggressive and more challenging. So we've seen the thunderstorm um, in the desert, which is going to be the big one, um, and it does change the monsters, how they interact, and all that sort of thing. And we will get a look at that. All right, so this... This is one of the, I, be, I believe it's one of the going to be one of the beginner monsters, a fang beast that is called, I have it written down, Doshiguma. So Doshiguma is going to be like this large monster that hunts in packs um, that you sort of need to draw away from the other ones to be able to fight it properly. I don't know. There are different colored ones. There's a red one and more yellow ones. I don't know if it's like an alpha situation that we're like we've had in almost every other Monster Hunter game. Um, but it's... it's uh, an interesting early monster to have and i really like that they've gone for something other than like a raptor bird wyvern even fanged wyvern that we had in um in monster hunter world um it's almost like a bear lion thing i didn't know where its eyes were at first but they're sort of on the sides there um yeah i like this guy a lot and we're about to see him in action um and and quite a few things happening so i'll let that play out and just enjoy how uh fresh this feels how how excellent this looks just from a footage point of view i i, I love what i'm seeing um yeah i ugh, dude i'm so freaking hyped for this now to lead it away from the pack we'll make for the desert right. so we get our first look at, at uh environment interaction there uh you know uh excellent stuff we with I'm just so excited, man. There's going to be so much of this living world, this living, uh, this back and forth between hunters and monsters. And we, we, we got the first little bit taste of that in Monster Hunter World. And this just looks like it's going to be just another step up from that. And I, I cannot understate how excited I am for all this stuff. And, and the environment interaction, you know, you see the hunter now uh, separating one monster from, the, from its pack. Oh, dude, this is just... Woo. I'm so excited. So our thunderstorm rolls in. Sandstorm, sorry. Here, I didn't see many people uh, talking about this, but it looks like there is another monster in, in the sand here that hasn't been revealed officially. And you see, I'll, I'll f stop at a couple of different frames here. You see as the big bear guy that I keep forgetting the name of, Doshiguma, jumps out of the sand. You see it sort of throw this other monster, and I'll just bring it along a little bit. You sort of get a glimpse of it as it rolls past the hunter. Uh, there's, a, there's a frame where you sort of see its eye glowing, and it's definitely not a Karatanoth, I don't think. So this is the frame where you see its eye glowing on the side there. This is something that's buried beneath the sand, some smaller monster that can't quite deal with uh, uh, Doshiguma, I guess, because uh, he gets absolutely owned, and we don't see it again for the rest of the trailer. I don't know if it's like the, something to do with the crocodile that jumps out of the river at the start to attack the herbivore. I don't know, but uh, a nice little detail that I didn't see many people uh, talking about. Now commencing the hunt. So we get our first great sword gameplay. It's a bit owned, and here we go. I love this guy. Can I just say that I love this guy? This little frog guy uh, is excellent. Uh, more amphibians are always a good thing. Always, always, always a good thing. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's so good, man. I, 
I can't I can't uh, sing its praises enough. This is another early game monster, one of the first you fight by the looks of it. He's like a big frog with with gorilla hands that licks his arms to stick rocks to his hands so he can beat the crap out of you. And again, an amphibian early on. We did get one obviously in Sunbreak um, with Tetranodon, but having a, a a amphibian so early on that's just so different, so cool, so unique as a monster. Um, that doesn't follow those previous trends that would have been established. I've just, oh, it's so good, man. I'm so excited. This is this is fantastic. <laughs> Hunter gets absolutely destroyed. But, bang. We get our first look at our mounts here. Um, so, well, not our first look. We had one earlier. But it in action. So you can whistle for it to come and pick you up and swoop you out of battle. Um, which, you know, I, I hope doesn't become just this super safe scapegoat. Um, like it can be interrupted if you time it properly. Sort of like how the um, wire falls worked. Uh, in Sunbreak and, and, and Rise, you know, if you really mistimed it, you could still just get completely destroyed. Um, and it, it feels like it should work that way. Hopefully there's not invulnerability and stuff. But it, it's it's a neat little detail. And, you know, rule of cool. It's cool. So uh, what else can you ask for? So I'm pausing a lot, but again, interesting detail. We've got these little raptor guys that we saw earlier in the trailer uh, attacking the frog in the middle of your hunt. You know, you're just... You're just trying to take the frog down, and it's getting um, absolutely wrecked by these guys. What, what the outcome of that is, I don't know, but it seems like the next step from Turf Wars, right? We had Turf Wars, monster, big monster on big monster. Now we've got just sort of, it's 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 a it's a no holds barred fight um, where everybody can just uh, jump in, tag in. Uh, very cool stuff. <laughs> Oh boy, a lot to take in here. Okay, so we've got jumping onto the monster, switching to a different weapon, and then mounted combat. So the hunter jumps on, switches from greatsword to heavy bowgun, and then starts shooting from the back of the secret. Now, it's obviously really slowed down, so if you mistime this, you'll probably get owned. Um, but new feature, being confirmed that you can take two, uh, two weapons on a hunt. That's excellent. That's super cool. Maybe it'll mean that there's not so much, you know, base camps that you can go back to freely. They're too far away. Won't quite be as easy um, to just restock as as Monster Hunter World. But you can. But the the benefit is then that you've got two weapons with you at all times. Um, so very cool stuff. Very excited to uh, see what combos people come up with and to try out different weapon combinations. Uh, I'm thinking Greatsword Insect Glaive. Assuming they're both in the game, we know Greatsword is, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super into this. Mountain combat. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, this is called focus mode, I think is what it says on the website. Focus mode looks like... It looks like something out of Frontier, to be honest. Uh, I'm so glad that Greatsword is the weapon that got highlighted for this. I love Greatsword and seeing its new like attacks and moves, the dynamic camera. Hope the game isn't too cinematically focused that it takes away from the combat, but god damn, that looks sick. The I don't know if it was a counter, I don't know if he just timed really well to get the flinch, whatever the situation is, you know, just make it look cool. Um This looks awesome. You can you, apparently you can hit a focus mode where you go into this different state where you can um do these different attacks and these new uh, dynamic movements where you can sort of choose which way your weapon attack goes and all that sort of thing. Look, it, it's I'm so excited to jump into this system. Uh, again, I just hope it doesn't make it too cinematically focused. Like, it's, it's still going to be uh, really tight and deep combat and difficult combat. I'm going to really enjoy it, but damn, this looks absolutely sick. Uh, and we do get some more of this in a second, which I'll... Oh, the ending? The ending of this trailer? Whew. Oh boy, I'm off. Ah! I've selected you as a lead hunter. This is the Ace Lancer. And if he's not the Ace Lancer from Monster Hunter 4U, again, Monster Hunter 4U 2 confirmed, 
I don't know who, why he looks so similar to the Ace Lancer. He looks down to the beard. I think he had a beard. Did he have a beard before you? The he's got the hair curl. He looks exactly the same. Uh, it's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be. And if it's not, I'll be very, very shocked. All right. For this expedition. Thank you, sir. Talking hot dog. Flare from world. Standard four hunter party. There it is. Pause that. Oh my god. This is the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in Monster Hunter fucking ever. And excuse my French. Uh a I'm assuming focus mode technique, whatever it is, must come with the focus mode, where the hunter the, the, the monster has, has bitten at the hunter and he has blocked it by putting the great sword in its mouth and having like a little tug of war. Not a tug of war because you're pushing, but you know what I'm saying? It's just oh my god. I need this game. 2025 cannot come soon enough. We're only halfway through 2024. Oh, this is amazing. And unfortunately, is the end of the trailer. Whew. All right. 2025. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, there's a little bit more about you get some bonuses if you have Iceborne and, and World uh, save data on your PlayStation 5 or whatever. Um, but... Dude, first proper trailer, and we're apparently getting another trailer in less than a week? What? Dude, we're eating good. I... I have so much to say. Um, I am super interested with the direction they've taken. I love this sort of... Um, false ecology and, and fantasy ecology thing that they're going for. I love all of that. I loved all of it from Worlds, so having it sort of just amped up even more in Wilds is... Dude, mwah, chef's kiss. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on this. Uh, the new new combat stuff, you, obviously we've got two weapons that you can take with you and switch between on a whim. You've got um, the focus mode. What's that going to be like for each weapon? You know, we already have such a diverse pool of weapons and now they've each got their own little focus mode things. I don't envy the guy that's coding that, but goddamn, I, I think it is really going to pay off. Um, and let them cook, man. Uh, I hope we get a really good story this time around. Um, Monster Hunter's story has never been the strongest, but it's also not, like, it's not, it's not egregious. It's not horrible. Um, the lore is really cool, so it would be really cool to get, like, a, a, a you know, a heartfelt and a and a, and a enticing story. Something that's really interesting. And, and it looks like they're sort of going for it. New characters look great. I'll be interested to see who else fills out the roster of our little... I'm going to call it a caravan. You know, we're on a sand ship. She's wearing the caravaneer's stuff. We've got throwbacks to Monster Santa for you. This is just for you too. Um, it, it, it feels very much like that anyway. It feels like a mix between for you and Dose. And and obviously World's, World's mechanics have brought everybody into the series. A large number of people into the series. Dude... This looks phenomenal. Um, I don't know what else I can say. Obviously, you all love it. I love it. Um, nothing's really... There's nothing I can fault, really. Again, just the sort of cinematic feel. You can do that and still have um, really interesting in-depth com combat. So I hope they do. Uh, but I trust I trust the Monster Hunter dev team. I trust them a lot. I trust them with my life. Maybe not, but that's it for me. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you if you like it, why not share it with a friend? You know, they might like it too. Hit that like button uh, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video, which will be eventually. All right, catch you later, guys.